friends in this video we will discuss about bland altman plot and i will show you step by step how to perform bland altman test in spss so first of all before going for spss here is the brief introduction to bland altman plot this plot is named after statistician bland and altman actually it is a scatter plot which can be used to compare two methods to know whether they are in good agreement with each other or not. Or we can say it is a scatter plot to compare two different methods to know whether they provide same same result or not. It helps to compare new technique with standard one. This is the representative diagram for bland Altman plot. Suppose if the test is for comparison of two methods for this mean difference of two methods should be plotted on vertical axis and mean value of both methods should be plotted on horizontal axis. Above and below the mean upper and lower limits are plotted within 95% confidence interval. And we will interpret it while performing the test in the SPSS. And these are the steps to be taken into consideration while performing bland or plant in SPSS. First, we should compute difference between two methods, then go for mean calculation of two methods, followed by one sample t-test. And from t-test, we should record mean standard deviation and calculate upper and lower limit also then go for scatter graph plot and finally apply linear regression to interpret and here is formula for upper and lower limit calculation value for this mean difference and standard deviation will be obtained from sample one sample t test and uh, by putting mean and standard deviation in this formula, we can have upper and lower limit. Okay. Now let's perform the test in SPSS. So this is SPSS file. Here we are going to compare the agreement between two methods for LDL calculation. One is this direct method and other is this Samson method for LDL estimation. For this, first we have to compute difference between two methods. So go to the transform, compute variable, and for difference in target variable, type difference. Type difference, and in numeric expression, subtract method one from two. Suppose as yes, direct LDL is one method minus samson method click on ok now we can see here difference is computed by svss okay in data view this difference can be seen now compute mean for mean also go to the transform compute variable type mean here in target variable and in numeric expression mean of both method mean of both method direct LDL comma Samson LDL click on OK now here in data view we can see the mean mean is available here now okay so after computing difference and mean, one sample t-test is required. So for one sample t-test, again go to the analyze, compare mean, one sample t-test. And in test variable, insert difference. Insert difference and in test value, zero is set. Now click on OK. So this is the result of one sample t-test 
now record the mean this mean value standard deviation and p value from this one sample t test and observe the p value if observation is statistically significant there is no need for bland or plant plot but if observation is not statistically significant then go for bland or plant plot here p value is 0.141 which is statistically not significant so go for bland or plant plot to draw the plot the value of mean and standard deviation uh, will be used later and to draw the bland or plant plot go to the graph legacy dialog and scatter dot and scatter dot simple scatter and then choose or define so here is a simple scatter plot now we have to define the axis in y axis plot the difference and in the x axis plot the mean click on ok so this is the plot now in this graph let's add the line of mean upper limit and lower limit for this double click on the graph double click on the graph go to the option and y axis reference line now add the mean value over here mean value from one sample t test and mean value is 1.90 click on apply close okay so mean value is plotted mean value you can see from t test here mean value is 1.90 now calculate upper and lower limit from formula by putting mean and standard deviation from t test we already talked about formula in introductory portion to calculate upper and lower limit so after putting mean and standard deviation in formula we got upper limit of 44.0 so now let's plot upper and lower limit and lower limit is minus 40.2 so go to the option y axis reference line now plot the upper limit from formula by plotting uh, putting mean and standard deviation we found upper limit of 44 okay click on apply Now also plot the lower limit. Y axis reference line. And lower limit we found is minus 40.2. Click and apply. Close. Now this is bland or plan plot for comparison of two methods. Now this can be interpreted by linear regression for linear, linear regression go to the analysis analyze regression and linear so in dependent variable insert difference and in independent variable insert mean click on ok so this is the linear regression Observe p value here. p value less than 0 0.05 is considered statistically significant. But here p value is 0 0.474, which is non significant. Non significant means there is no significant difference between result of two methods that is, direct LDL and Samson LDL. That means there is good agreement between methods. Or we can say there is no proportional bias on the distribution of data around the mean difference line. Okay. So friends, this is all about blind Altman plot.
थैंक यू वेरी मच